we have here is two different types of M8 T-Net. Um, one, which is the one on the uh, right, this one, is the recommended T-Net. This is the one we sell. This is a factory T-Net from one of the uh, hydrofoil manufacturers. Um, and what this is, is a six pound sledgehammer. Um, we're gonna take this sledgehammer and we're going to see how these two T-nuts hold up. So the connection to the board is these T-nuts. It's an incredibly important piece. Um, you know, you want high strength T-nuts. This is a stock T-nut. After one hit had cracked, um, we're gonna hit it here a few more times just for the heck of it. Um, and then I'll show you what a T-nut looks like that had failed without the sledgehammer, that it just failed, you know, customers just normally tightening it up, they crack right down the middle just like this one did, right down the threads. Um, you know, if you get two of those, or even just one of those to fail, it puts a lot more stress on the rest of the system. We're gonna do the same thing to the high strength T-nut. Hit it with the sledgehammer a few times and see if we can't get her to, to fail, to crack, and we'll see how it goes. We hit the high strength T-nut four, five, six um, solid times with uh, no cracks. Um, it's a little bit of bending, but no cracks. Um, so, I mean, you can kind of see in this incredibly scientific and legitimate test, um, you know, the difference between stock T-nuts and the high grade T-nuts. So, worth the money um, to switch it up, maybe as a backup, you know, make the switch and get some. We finally did get the high strength T-nut to fail. Uh, we went crazy on it. We had to hit it about uh, 20, 30 times with the sledge. And even then it didn't really, I mean, it obviously it failed, but still in one piece, kind of conglomeration, um, very strong parts. If you need these T-nuts, we have them and uh, they're actually really reasonable price-wise. Um, just check them out online, AmericanKiteBoarding.com.